What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Berserk read through as this is the, the second uh What's going on guys? It's your boy no that It's been a while. Give me a break. Big uh, Papa Pump uh, without the pump uh, I am uh, uh, This is not going well. It's been a while. It's Welcome back. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Berserk read through. Welcome back to the most electrifying read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never art. King Kong got a lot on me. Welcome back, T-B-R, and I would just like to say, you're welcome, welcome back guys, finally I get through that, of course, um, first and foremost, let me address the fact that, um, taking me so long to get back to Berserk. I know you guys already have to wait like two weeks to get a to get a read through, um, and this went on for like three weeks. I'm gonna really, really try to get this out this weekend, really, really hard. Even if I gotta spend the extra hours to get it done for you guys, no doubt about it. Okay, so as I said, apologies, apologies, apologies. Um, really and truly, why it didn't come out, why I didn't get a chance to do it last week is because if you guys are on the Discord, um, or saw the update video, you would have known why. I was in a lot of pain. I had a toothache. I had to go and see the dentist. Um, still not 100%, but I've been churning out these reactions, really just trying to catch up on whatever that I've missed because I'm doing this for myself as much as I'm doing it for you guys okay so um, today we're gonna be doing volume 5 of berserk last um, read through we did we started the golden age okay we did I think we did up to chapter 6 of the golden age in the last last one we finished volume 4 I know that for sure I don't know if I, we're gonna get through volume 5 because this thing has so many chapters it's ridiculous he has about six chapters here six no eight eight chapters i really don't know if we're gonna get through all of that but we're definitely going to try i'm definitely going to try is um around 200 and something pages and usually that count doesn't account for the program because the program might register it for like two three hundred pages so it depends it really does depend but we're gonna try to get through as much of it as possible if i feel like i'm feeling discomfort or anything then i will stop and do the review um and then i can pick up from there for the next read through but i really am going to try to do this because um we're gonna finish up the golden age chapter of course um um, they got a wind of swords, Nosferatu, Zod. We got four chapters of that, and then we got Master of the Sword, Chapter One. As they always like to do, they like to start a new arc per se. In you know, in you know, at the end of volumes, so that if these if it's not continuous, so a lot of times they like to do that to leave leave the volumes on a cliffhanger makes you want to buy the next one of course it's a market employee we all know that but in any ways i don't have to wait so <laughs> back then it must have been torture so i know that for a fact okay so um so yeah we're just gonna jump into it man um small review of what happened last time we got to 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 see how um how guts came up to be who you know who he is like a little bit more of his background from when he was a child how he was born basically just fell out on the ground from from a 
from his dead mother. Like, that was just nuts. Um, and then him getting raped as a child and, and all of that stuff that happened to him. I don't want to go over the gory details because I don't want to have that. It, it's still going to be in, in the back of my mind, but I just don't want to bring it to the forefront right now because it's such a horrible past that he has. And now he's he's somewhat even better now. And then he met Griffith and his crew so they're with them now and you know they have this thing that they're doing now where they're attacking from the front and the back so i want to see what the results of that is and then um and then whatever happens after that happens after that so i guess we're gonna um finish up the golden age and then we'll see um i want to see how griffith ends up being um a part of the god hand like that's what that's what I'm like the big thing that I want to find out right now. So we're going to definitely look into would uh, hopefully they show that right now. Um, how he ended up being a demon. Um, why did he end up selling his soul? Maybe I don't know, but we're definitely going to see it. So we're going to jump into it, man. Hope you guys hit that like button on the youtube channel if you're watching this on youtube even if you're not watching it on youtube okay please hit that like button before you leave and go watch the full version on the google drive i would really really do appreciate that um one of the things that i've been doing lately is um doing my call to actions in my intro instead of my outro um because i guess some people just forget to hit the like button it's one of the things that i do too when i'm watching youtube videos like i forget to leave a like if it's something that i like so it's um a lot of times you, you know it's best if you guys just hit the like button now because you know you're gonna enjoy it you know you're gonna enjoy it um you know the stuff that you guys have already already done been through so no big deal all right so we're gonna jump into it hit that like button if you're new Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. You already know. So we're going to jump into this, and I will see you guys over there, man. See you guys back here for the review. Okay, guys. Welcome to the berserk read through volume five and as you can see we have a lot to do today so let's get to it man we're gonna finish up the golden age then we're gonna see what all this other stuff is all about so from the last read through you guys know that they're going up against um they're they're mercenaries of course um and they're going up against a bunch of knights and they caught them off guard by attacking them from the front and the back um, so the knights are, are in trouble. Of course, you know, Guts is with Griffith. Um, as we go along, I'm going to, you know, remember the names because I'm kind of like foggy on some of the other people's names. Like I, I remember there's, I remember the girl that's with Griffith. Um, like she's her, um, she's his, um, right hand. If you want to say that so let's jump into it man okay that's a beastly picture okay all right so we got the knights here um, with guts in front oh uh, guts is leading I think that's Griffith right here I'm not sure or maybe all of them just looks the same I think that's Griffith no it's just a map okay no no it's not okay so going down wait a minute Oh, it is the knights going after guts because he did say in the in the last chapter at the end he said this time um he said something under the like now now it's my job or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But the knights are the ones trailing Griff um trailing guts right now. Okay, so they went after him. He blocks the attack. Ooh took his head okay okay i see you i see you guts i see you man i see you man okay so we got they pull out the crossbows yo he took the horse's head off bruh and, and i mean we we've seen this so many times but it's still the way it's just the way the art 
it's the art that just makes it so surprising every time because it always just seems you, you've seen it so many times but it always just seems so unexpected man he took the dude's head off and the horse's head off man blocks the um no the, the arrow grazed his shoulder look at this they show in the aftermath of the guy that he just took down with the horse oh my god it's gruesome let's look at this picture at the bottom here i mean the horse fell in front of them so i'm guessing they're gonna try to get over him or something so they got guts looks back at them then they got what's going on over here oh they're still clashing swords with someone I don't think that's guts though okay oh that's a girl that's the girl ain't it yeah I think that's the girl ooh so guts comes over chops that dude in the neck and kills him saves the girl it seems yeah so she's like get out of here is that like, oh okay who is this is that guts i think this is guts yeah he said that's it come and get me okay he said, come come and get me so they start chasing guts uh so they're saying I don't understand. So they won? I'm a little confused on the victory here. <gasps> because if they took out... It doesn't look like they took out the rest of the knights. And it looks like... They're running away from the castle? Or towards the castle? Okay, so... Okay, so they're in here now. Why are they celebrating victory? They say, ah, success. Well done, Griffith. With this, with this until reinforcements arrive in the month, eh, Griffith, they're confused about something. So Griffith takes his helmet off, starts walking. He's looking towards the outside and he's asking questions. What are for losses? He said, doesn't look too bad. He said, that new guy's doing better than I thought. The rear guard's holding out so well. The enemy doesn't seem to have much of a chance to snap at our behind. Okay. On a straight forest path, so many opponents at once. Now that's ballsy. Well, it is Guts we're talking about. Where is he? It's like, don't know. I lost sight of him. The battle line got too stretched out. So you just left him out there by himself? Hopefully, it didn't bite, though. Okay. So they all stand. Um, Griffith and... Uh, I can't remember her name. Until they say her name, I'm not going to remember. Honestly. Um, I could go back and check, but I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's been a while, guys. Okay, so we have Guts here still fighting, and they're chilling. They're celebrating success, and Guts is out here leading all these guys away from where they're at, fighting by himself. So he's over here fighting still. Looks like he's cutting off. What is that? A big ass button? <laughs> okay, so there's he's still fighting everybody over here by himself, bro. And they're over there chilling. Right? So we got him. Whoa. They almost got him here. Did he get cut? It looks like he got cut right here. T 
damn it, he's taking damage, man. He's taking damage, bro. And that's what I'm saying, man. They're all over there celebrating success. Because I was like, what is happening here? Because he's leading them away from where they at and they left him. And that bum come rep, that bum comes reporting. He comes reporting, talking about, oh, he's doing a good job. The dude, the dude is fighting on his own right now. And y'all not gonna go and give him reinforcements? At least go try to see what's going on. It looks like he fell off his horse right here. Oh, he's leaning on the horse. He comes up. Ooh, look at that. It looks like he kicks this guy. <laughs> it looks like he kicks him in the throat. Kicks him. Looks like he's about to pull out his sword. Wow. He kicks him off the horse. Right? Pulls his sword. But no. Wait a minute. Is that the ground he's pushing off of? What is what is going on here? So he has the horse. Oh, he gets back up on the horse. Push. He looks like he pushes off the ground, or a tree, or something. I think that's the ground, though. I think he pushed himself off the ground to get his balance back on the horse. Okay, so basically now he's being chased from behind, and he sees some people ahead of him, and he says, "Now's my chance." Okay, for what exactly? I don't know. Okay, so we got them shooting more crossbow arrows at him. Whoa, they got the horse. Look at this. They got the horse in the neck, the face. Oh, damn, man. This thing is graphic. So he's like, oh, crap. The horse is going down, and he's about to fall on his head. That's not cool, man. And these guys over here celebrating success, bro. All right, so we got Guts falls off the horse, and he says, damn, they got me. All right, he's surrounded. That was page 17. Now we got, ooh, reinforcements? Because he looks surprised. Yes, my boy Griffith came through, man, because I was like, that's what that's the reason why Griffith was not celebrating because he's like, why the hell did you leave this dude out there by himself? You get what I'm saying? Oh my god, and he's just in time too. Just in time, man. Just in time. Griffith comes through. And he says, Griffith. Okay, so Griffith is here. And he's like, grab hold. So he stretches his hand out and I'm guessing Guts gonna grab his hand and gets get onto the horse. Who is this guy? It's the first time I'm seeing him. And he's with Griffith. So grabs a hand, gets up on the horse. They're riding away. Dude is about to chop him. <laughs> and he gets boom i'm guessing he's gonna get bounced off oh my god lord have mercy he got hit in the head smashed his head and, they, and he's like let's go i want to know who this guy is he's already a beast he ain't one already okay we got griffith and guts on the horse dude He's like, don't let them flee. They're going to get away whether you like it or not, buddy. And Guts is like, why'd you come back? Griffith is like, don't speak. You'll bite your tongue. I'm guessing this is a start of a great relationship. I mean, Griffith was already intrigued with him. I mean, other than the... The weird innuendos <laughs> that happened in the last chapter. I want you. 
<laughs> you know, like, no. So <laughs> it's like, are you a fag or something? <laughs> like, are you a homo? <laughs> I remember that line was so classic. <laughs> All right, so it says, this is hopeless. Writing double. It's like, they're catching up. Griffith is saying, just a little more, a little farther, and the forest ends. Really? Yo, they are literally right behind them. Like, we're out. Scatter. So they got out of the forest. I'm guessing the forest ended. So now they can go in different directions, I guess. Ooh. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, y'all are screwed. <laughs> you guys are screwed. They were waiting. Oh. Oh, so that's what they were running towards the ambush so that they can take out these guys just throw them right into a trap they're like fire and they're all dead <laughs> they are not surviving that definitely not surviving that good plan good plan okay so griffin and guts on the horse griffith um guts takes his helmet off they are blasting them Oh my god, it's They're like retreat! Retreat <laughs> Yeah Run bitch run Oh my god run 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 Okay so now we can really celebrate now that guts is out of trouble I can smile Okay so them here they're celebrating I don't think they like the fact that Griffith went back to get Guts, but whatever. I don't care. Um, okay, so they're celebrating. They set up camp. They're drinking, enjoying themselves. So I'm guessing this is a guy that they helped out because they're the ones that hired them, I guess. So good grief. One successful sneak, sneak attack, and they celebrate. It cannot be helped. Surely this was a major gain. Yes, yes, we cannot be hard on them. But still, a most dreadful man he is. He managed this entire operation personally. He is young and lacks backing. But his men are extremely devoted to him and his tactics are brilliant. Truly dreadful. Tell you what. Okay, so they're telling a story now. So these two guys were talking up here. Now we got somebody talking about what happened. We got to tell you what. I didn't know what to think when Griffith took off if something had happened. It's like, you lame brain. Like anything would have ever happened to Griffith. Right. Right. Well, you were the most scared one out there. Oh, really? But hey, Guts is pretty good. Yeah, kind of mean dude, though. I thought he'd just run off. Some things, some things only Griffith can see. Well, guess we can say he's one of the Hawks now. Where is he anyway? Where is Guts for real? Just chilling, as always. Chilling by himself. He, and the thing about it, like, I totally get Guts attitude why he always wants to be by himself. I really do get it. I mean, if if I've been through half or not even half, a quarter of what this man has been through since he was a child, I wouldn't want to be around anyone either. I mean, I'm surprised you know what I'm saying? In in in, in some ways, I'm surprised that he, he he's actually still keep keeping on. You know what I'm saying? Still going. Because most people would have super suicide thoughts going through, going through just a little bit of what guts 
goes through. You know what I mean? So, so they they come up and they're like, ah, oh, there you are. So this is three people. I'm I'm thinking this is Griffith, the girl, and that big dude we just met that pounded that dude with the um, what do you call that? That spiked hammer or whatever. So they find them. They're like, what you up to? It's nice and cool up here. So it's not Griffith. It's some other people. So they say, come down. Let's drink. You've got to have fun when you can find it. And Guts is like, I'm fine here. Ugh. Guts, sir. Like, thank you for earlier. You helped me scrape through. My name is Rickert. Guts is like, huh? He's like, is that a he or a she? I don't know. I really respect you. I've never seen anyone but Griffith fight that amazingly. Ooh, he's getting some compliments here. All I did, and oh, that's got stalking. All I did was my own job. No reason to thank me. Okay, this has to be a girl. <laughs> this can be, uh, this is like, it's like, same goes for you guys, right? Well, uh, we can leave it at that, I guess. I'm Judo. I'm guessing that's pronounced Judo. Judo, nice to meet you. More, more importantly, come on. Things can't get going without the star. It's like, say what? Tonight's party is also to welcome you to the group. You about to turn down our goodwill? We really just want an excuse to go wild. <laughs> okay. It's like, nobody, a nobody asks you to do that. Pippin. Okay, so it says, what? Yo, a dude picked him up. <laughs> he grabbed him and picked, he's huge, bro. Look at him, he's tall as mud, bro. He's freaking giant out here. It's like, what the hell? Let me go. <laughs> he picked him up. He's like, don't you touch me. Damn, he held over him in the mouth. Oh, my God. You already know how he feels about being touched, so I can imagine. He's like, don't be shy. Here. Hey, here he comes. Now I was like, okay, so everybody's, like, celebrating with him. Yay, Scott's in the house. Yay. He saved us all. Yay. No. <laughs> he's like enough already put me down you fat headed bastard <laughs> he's like I'm Pippin so oh so that's his name Pippin I'm Pippin <laughs> I'm Pippin <laughs> what a name Pippin okay so okay so they start they threw a towel on him Oh, that, oh, that's just his cape. Why does he have a cape? <laughs> Again, I like the... Cause I think it's, it's a jacket, right? Not a cape. Because it was always a jacket. I think it's like a a really jacket. It wasn't a cape. This is a cape. He has a cape here, not a jacket. Okay, so... Alright, so we got... Pippin. Sanuva. What? Okay, I'm guessing that's some sort of, uh, maybe that's his name. So they're offering him a drink. And Pippin is like, drink. He doesn't talk much, does he? <laughs> Ugh. Uh. All right. Let's toast to the rookie, the bad attitude. All right, so he's standing there looking like, uh, approval? Hey. It's new to him. So he drank with them as a toast. That's pretty cool. 
So some black dude seems like comes up to him. And he's like, I've changed my mind, rookie. You're one hell of a guy taking on that many men by yourself. You're awesome. Well, a little impulsive, maybe. There's some stuff only Griffith can see. I thought he was about to put you under, but you slugged him, though. <laughs> it's like five different people talking, man. It's like, well, some, somehow you're trustworthy. Here's to the future, rookie. All right. So there, of course, this dude is salty. He's being salty. He been wanting to kill guts. He being salty. So that's not a surprise. Okay, so Griffith over here, looking like a girl as always. So he drank, but he's still not happy. Okay, so that's good. She's chilling up here. I wonder what her issue is. Like I don't get her really. I don't get her attitude. I don't know if it's because is she jealous? Cause I mean, as I said before, she's like Griffith's right hand. But if Griffith has found a better right hand, she might be jealous. I don't know. Okay, so that's the end of chapter seven, the golden age. So we're gonna go into chapter eight now. Wow. This is beautiful drawing, man. Like I rem I remember back in when I was back then I used to draw a lot. I used to be really good at art. But as I said, man, you don't practice talent, you're not gonna be any good at it. Try to draw right now. Probably could draw a stick, man. <laughs> yeah, let me moisturize the throat a bit. Anyway. All right, so Golden Age Chapter 8. We have God sitting on the wall by himself. Everybody cheering down there. Okay, so, all right, as always, he's by himself. Somebody comes up. You're up early. You must really like high places, don't you? Uh, yep, so she jumps up on top of the wall where Guts is. Okay. So, it, so she's like, want some? No thanks. So how about the band of the hawk? And Guts asks, how? Think you'll fit in? And Guts is like, I don't know. Hard to say. It's kind of weird. <laughs> It's like, mercenary bands are never much different. They're savage, made up mostly of rogues and men with shady passes, you know? I was surprised by how young everyone here is, but that's not all. Here, it's different somehow. Yeah, it's different because they're... <clears throat> I want to say it's different because of the age group. Um, but they, but they're also like the last mercenary group. We all know what went down, right? We all know what went down with the last mercenary group he was with, you know, you know, other than the fact that they didn't treat him like he was a person, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, then he, he got raped, you know what I'm saying? And all of this other stuff. So I can imagine how it's different in a lot of ways. You know, it's more um, people that are is in his age group, so it's a little bit. It's more relatable, and it's it's definitely different. So, hmm. So she says, hmm. I guess maybe. Well, a little variety is good, even for mercenary bands. We've got escaped prisoners, street urchins, sons of blacksmiths, and even second sons of poor aristocrats in ours. Yep. Sounds good. But, if anything, maybe it's Griffith. Could be, I'd say. Those who've been completely charmed by Griffith. Those who figure as long as they stick with Griffith, they'll get to see great things. Anyway. All of us are here because of his charisma. On his own, no one of us is any big deal. 
no different from any other mercenary. It's just that unlike other mercenaries who are so hardened, they think only about money and their own survival. We're a little different. Around here, while we do spend every blood-filled day killing and being killed, it's strange, but we can also cry, laugh, get angry, whatever. I like this shot. I love silhouette shots. For, for uh, um, regardless of if it's just art or just, or, you know, picture, you know, photograph, I love silhouettes. Like, um, in graphic design, I used to basically specialize in, in, in silhouettes. I love silhouettes. I used to do, um, for local companies and stuff, when I used to do um, graphic design work for them, um, logos, you know, website images and stuff like that, I always go base silhouette because silhouettes are, it speaks about the image so much more, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. It speaks so much more about the image um, just from that point of view. It's it's very simple yet deep construction of an image. So I love to use silhouettes. So I love this shot probably more than I would love something like this. More details. You get what I'm saying? Um, I love this because it speaks so much about what's happening. Even without an explanation. You know what I'm saying? You could take so much more out of this like this depiction is is more straightforward silhouettes are more laid back they're simple but yet still have can have such more deeper meaning to them so yeah should maybe shouldn't have went off on that but yeah anyways let's keep going anyways all right so we got griffith okay so we got um guts over here still sitting on the wall girl still talking she says no gut says griffith what kind of guy is he? She says, hmm, I don't know. So Guts is like, yet you're all charmed by him? I'm like, whoa, hold on, just listen. How can I put this? Just when you think it looks like it's got some strange wisdom, he's got some strange wisdom, he seems just like a kid. Just when you think he has a spine chilling look on his face, he smiles innocently like a baby. Is he a child or an adult? A good guy or a villain? I don't really know what he is. Well, we know now because we know what he becomes. <laughs> yeah, he's a weird looking dude, okay? Like, like let's get that out of the way. <laughs> All right, so we got... But... Something about him is different from us. There are things that simple mercenaries like us only hear about in absurd drinking tales. Things that he would think of and do like they were nothing. I can't really describe it. It's not just his swordsmanship and his tactics. Ordinary people like us don't understand Griffith. It might take him longer than a lifetime to achieve it. But I guess he must have some kind of conviction. Gut says, conviction? In what? She says, in everything. Eh. It's not whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. It's not whether we really know him or not. Isn't that just how it is when a man gathers other men together? Um, cause got so another guy comes up now and say, "Hey, new guy, the boss is calling you." Okay, so guts jumps off the wall and says, "See ya," and she says, "Guts." She calls out to him and says, "Guts, I'm sure you'll find it here, the place where you belong." <laughs> and he looks back at her. Like, bitch, I don't belong nowhere, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. I'm the black swordsman. A rat. Oh, God. Really, Griffith? Like, this is what we doing, bruh? Like, come on, man. Like, you don't call another man in the bat. 
You don't call a man while you're taking a bath, man. I hate when people do this. And whether it's TV shows or whatever, I hate when dudes do this. When kings and I hate when they do this, man. Because it's a uh, dick measuring contest, man. <laughs> I can't stand that shit. Anyway, so he's taking a bath. He's like, whew. And he's standing naked. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so he's like, so Guns is standing there looking at him like, okay. He's like, hi. And he turns up, care to join? Bruh. <laughs> care to join me? It's the best way to sober up. <laughs> what the hell? Guns is like, I'll pass. <laughs> Don't tell me he's going to throw water on Guts. This guy, bro, like, <laughs> he's like, come on. Don't be that way. He's about to throw water on Guts. Guts is like, ah, oh, cut it out, moron. We ain't kids. And he threw the water on Guts. Guts now is soaking wet. And he's like, ha, ah, what a face. Guts calls him a jerk. Okay. So... He grabs a bucket. Okay, we are not supposed to be doing this. Like, we don't do this. Not as kids. I don't remember ever doing this with any other dude. Kids that I played with. First of all, we never... Um, boys never showered together or nothing like that. Not even as brothers. We never did that. And if you guys don't know, I'm Jamaican. We don't play them kind of games. <laughs> no. Our moms, we don't let um, brothers that don't shower together. Maybe your older brother will give you bats when you're younger, like stuff like that. But if you have like a little brother, you don't shower together. Maybe some people do that, but in my whole household, that never happened. It's especially not even if you're boy and girl you don't you just don't shower together because there's an understanding that you know a sense of you want kids to embrace their sense of privacy from from younger ages one of the things that i noticed when i came here when i came to america was that was not an issue <laughs> was never an issue and i don't think it's a big deal but i do think at a certain age that needs to stop you get what I'm saying? Like, if they're, like, young, young kids, like, maybe two, three years old, then it's fine. You know, they're they're not really coming into the understanding of that stuff yet. But I think after a while, that really does need to stop around the age of, you know, maybe five years old. Like, that needs to stop. You can't have your kids showering, showering together um, after a certain age. I don't believe in that. I don't co-sign that at all. So this is not normal behavior. These are basically two grown ass men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think he's still a teenager, right? I think he's still a teenager right now. Um, so this is totally unacceptable. Like I'm not splashing water on no grown ass teenager. Like that not gonna happen, especially if it's a, you know what I'm saying. It's a dude. It's a girl. It's fine. If this was a, a boy girl situation. It'll be fine because that could lead to stuff. You know, healthy. <laughs> Stop it, that's it. But I don't co-sign that. Uh, I'm I'm not that type of dude. Hey, if 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 that's how you go, then fine. But obviously, that guts is not into that stuff. He's not into the the um the guy on guy stuff. He's he's you know what I'm saying. He's not into it. So this is very weird that he's playing into it. Anyways, yeah, it took too long to explain that. But anyways, we're gonna continue here for this splash party that's happening for right now this not cool but, but anyways all right so oh so he looks like he grabs a bucket throw it at griffith griffith is acting all girly <laughs> Did I say, whoop? not quite so he uh, oh he missed he missed with the water okay he missed with the water okay so he he got him on the second try i guess splashed him Okay, so look like he's about to splash Griffith again. And now there's a full-on splash party going on with Griffith naked. 
This this is not cool, man. <laughs> we don't do that. So this girl is up there watching. It's like a lot of energy this early. And now they're both tired. Well, at least he didn't take his clothes off and stop playing that, you know. <laughs> All right. So it was like, so Griffith is saying, that was good morning exercise. Gus throws another bucket of water on him. It's like, guts. Why? It's like, now we're even. Ah. Looks like he sp spit something out. And he starts laughing. So Griffith is laughing. He's like, okay, I give up. You really are stubborn, you know. So Guts is looking at him. Seems like he noticed the necklace around Griffith's neck. Um, so he sees Guts looking at him and he's like, what? Uh, yes, it is the necklace. It's like, that's a weird necklace. Griffith's like, oh, this? Oh, hell nah. No. No. Mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. hell no. nah. No. No, 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 no. Hell it's a no. Behelith. No. No. I refuse. No. Or no. Behelith. I don't remember exactly, but Behelith. Something of the sort. Okay, so the cookie crumbles. And the story has come to a bump. <laughs> This nigga walks around with a freaking behelith on a necklace. That's crazy. So here we go. He's like, I bought this from an old gypsy fortune teller ages ago. Hmm. The behelith. Also called the egg of the king. You see, it's said that whoever possesses this is destined to obtain the world in exchange for his own flesh and blood. Hmm. The world? So, he throws it to Guts. Dude, there's eyeballs on this thing, man. It's such a creepy looking thing. So, Guts is inspecting the behelith. And he, so he see, he looks at the eyeball and then it opens. <laughs> Guts gets frightened and threw it back to Griffith. I don't know what makes it do that, but it's almost like it's alive. Oh yes, that thing is alive, my friend. It's like that's creepy. <laughs> so he's like smart. Dude, why does he make Griffith look like a girl so much, man? Like, I can't stand that. I cannot stand that, man. He looks too much like a girl. He looks too much like a girl, man. He said, neat. Neat, huh? He's like... He really is, he really is tough to read, but probably just a kid. I still haven't heard your answer. Hmm? During the battle, why'd you come back to save me? This is God speaking. Griffith responds, having acquired such an excellent soldier, I didn't want to lose him in such a petty battle. Mm. So he gets up. He's like, Guts, wait a minute. Does this dude have any genitals? <laughs> What's going on here? Doesn't look like he got genitals. Because something should be going on. I should see something. <laughs> like, Unless he is a girl. With a very... No, he's not a girl because he ain't got no bra on. And he, ain't, he ain't got no tits. Okay. So he's definitely a he. But we should have seen something there. The position of those feet, we should have seen a ball 
<laughs> something. Anyways, um, guts. Come along with me. This is no more than a single step. The band of Hawk. All the victories on the battlefield are just the outset. So it's this that's what I'm saying. These talking bubbles, man, they're so confusing sometimes. Sometimes you don't know who's talking until you're so far ahead. It's because this is all Griffith talking. This is no more than a single step. The band of Hawk. All the victories on the battlefield are just the outset. Just the beginning. This is where it starts to get interesting. You can bet your life on that. I will get my own kingdom. Ooh. They just didn't want to draw the, the dude's balls and dick. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so. He's looking up at him. Looks like the sun is glaring down. So he's... <laughs> You will fight for my cause because you belong to me. I don't like how you naked saying that to another dude, but okay. Okay, so I will decide the place where you die. Whoa. That's some serious speech right there, Griffith. I will decide the place where you die. Okay. So he's like, get his own kingdom. What is this dude talking about? <laughs> so he's like, ha, huh, is he for real? He's not nobility or royalty. He's not even a knight. So the commander of maybe 500 mercenaries is going to snatch up his own kingdom. <laughs> Guts is having a laugh at Griffith's expense right now. The punk said all that like is just a matter of course. He's about the same age as me. Can just one man mean it when he says that? He's crazy. What is that? Big ass mosquito. <laughs> what have I been doing these past four years? I don't know. Traveling, almost getting killed everywhere you go, getting, you know what I'm saying? Running around from one battlefield to the next, killing enemies, exactly what I was just saying. <laughs> just surviving. This bitch ass nigga right here. Where am I going? I still don't have the answer to that question. Gambino. Gambino was a bitch, man. Straight up. Straight up, you was a bitch. I hated that dude after I found out. I was like, I thought... I thought I really did thought that he was gonna have a good relationship with this dude was you know as a father figure turns out this dude's just as douchey as everybody else okay so he's standing on the ledge sir good sir <laughs> this girl comes out sir good sir and knocks him off with the door and he lands in the water <laughs> What? What's the big idea? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd come up and congratulate you. I heard you had 10 men placed under your command. That's amazing. It hasn't been two weeks since you joined us. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 100 men in a year, sir. <laughs> Guts is like, this has been one wet day. <laughs> I was like, now you've really earned a place in the band of the hawk. Congratulations. He's like, for now, just call me Guts. 
So, whether that's a he or she, help him up. And then um, Pippin comes through the door and knocks both of them in the water. Yeah, for now. <laughs> you fat head. <laughs> Pippin! <laughs> What is this girl's name again? Okay, so we got horses coming. Fighting in the battlefield again. We got Griffith on the horse. Griffith on the horse with Guts and the other girl on his side. I don't remember her name. They still haven't said her name yet. <laughs> Alright, so we got Griffith. Telling everybody to halt. So he halts the army. Who are they going up against now? So they're just in the field riding. What's going on with Guts? So he put okay, he puts his helmet down. And he's going for this is a double page spread. It's great art, man. Okay, so we got that was the end of the Golden Age. Chapter 8, yes. My logo was hiding it. I didn't see the end. Alright, so that's the end of the Golden Age arc, guys. So, I'll talk about this just a little bit. Like, it's... We finally get the first... First... The, we finally get the first introduction to... Um... How did Griffith... Get involved? How he got involved with you know or the introduction to the god hand or to that world to the other world to hell to all of that evil stuff demonic world so um so that was definitely cool to see and to get that information you know in the golden age in the last chapter of the golden age so we're gonna jump into the next one um so let's see what's going on here yeah. Okay, so, in this world is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law. Is it like the God hand? Is it like the hand of, of, is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control even over his own will. Man takes up the sword in order to shield a small wound in his heart, sustained in a far-off time beyond remembrance. Man wields the sword so that he may die, smiling in some far-off time beyond perception. The wind of swords. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds like something somebody would narrate before <laughs> before um, the beginning of a movie. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Let's go. Who? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, buddy. Who are you? Why do you look like a werewolf, sir? Okay, so jumping in now. I'm guessing this is a new story. Um, or maybe it's a continuation of the golden age but different name but we'll see so we got some soldiers coming up here um y'all got flags what is this saying the war has gone on for 100 years why <laughs> whoa bro well excuse me this is how we starting out the chapter bruh what is this cheese dude getting st st bruh already <sighs> getting stabbed in the mouth like that bro oh my god all right this is off to these art these horses are in armor who are these guys man Onward, onward, trample them down. 
Show the whole land how valiant are we of the Black Ram Iron Lance Heavy Cavalry. Don't I remember these guys? And these guys were from like, I think like the first arc, the Black Swordsman. I think they're from, it's a, I, I think I remember those helmets. This Black Ram Iron Lance Heavy Cavalry that I said I would never remember. <laughs> Kill them. Crush them. Okay. Hmm. You got a, some sort of king standing on a hill over here? What a disaster! To think that a mere 3,000 horsemen could confound us so. Reporting, sire. The enemy's black rum iron lance heavy cavalry are so... are so fierce. We're sustaining heavy losses. At this rate, even our headquarters, headquarters here may be in danger what how <laughs> what are generals doing anyone will do anyone is there no one in the midland who can stop these black devils of Tudor? i don't know maybe and they're them iron lands dudes onward onward <laughs> Okay, so we got, seems like this is Guts. Why is Guts by himself? Isn't he supposed to be with Griffith? He's about to fight someone. It seems. I'm pretty sure this, damn, he got buff as hell. Look at them muscles, them muscles. He got buff. So, Griffith pulls his sword. It seems like somebody's charging towards him here. He pulls his sword. Ooh, that sword is bone chilling, man. Oh, he's going after the, the Iron Lance noobs. Nonsense. One horseman against the Black Ram Iron Lance Heavy Cavalry? Why they gotta say that every time? I don't know. We just gonna call you guys the Iron Lance Cavalry, okay? I'm not about to say six freaking words every time I see you guys on screen you guys are just the iron lance okay the iron lance cavalry that's about all you get from me <laughs> okay so so be it we'll mow you down okay so they're charging towards guts and of course guts yo guts just loves cutting people in two man Look at this, bro. He just cuts him in half like he's nothing. Like he is nothing. Okay? Alright. Cuts him in half like he's nothing. Okay? Whew. My God. It's a beautiful art, too, man. The shading, everything is just on point. So, they're all coming after him. He cuts that dude in half. Okay? And he's going through, mowing them down. Mowing them. This is Guts over here. Dude, he sent that dude's the top half of, half of his body <laughs> went flying through here. And they're like, ooh, take another one. More heads flying. Oh my god, bro. Bruh. Look at this, man. Come on, man. Heads flying. Because you don't know. You don't know. If you don't know, you better ask somebody, man. They're like, don't break rank. He's only one rider. Surround him. Don't let him move. That's not going to help you, buddy. They're like... Corner over here. They got... Like, um... That's... Your Majesty. Look! They must see Guts. They must, must see Guts. Is this Guts right here? I don't know where Guts is. Where is he? Can't see him in that picture. Okay, let's let's go down here. Oh, Griffith is here. 
Oh, so they're all here. Okay. The band of the hawk. The mercenary band led by the White Hawk Griffith. The Grim Reapers of the Battlefield. <laughs> Thanks for the announcements. Now die. <laughs> Griffith takes his head off. Ooh. Griffith takes his head off. And they're fighting. And they're fighting. Now it's the battlefield. So they're they actually was they fighting for the for the king? So they're all like retreat. The Iron Lands Calvary retreated. <laughs> what do you know? They were such big talk, huh? Okay, so they won again, and Griffith looked like a woman again. I, I mean, the this is. <sighs> let me not. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Um, so. Um, Griffith gives guts the thumbs up. They're much older now, obviously. They're much older now. I don't know how long the time skip is. I didn't see anything that says the time skip because before they were telling us like two years later, three years later, six years later, whatever. All right, so I don't know. All right, so they're rejoicing. They're like, Captain, Captain Guts. So now he's a captain and they're like, you are great, Captain, riding out there alone. That was so cool. I'm still shaking just thinking about it. You're the star of this victory. You know you're going to have some people who are real jelly out here, man. You got to be a couple that's just still jealous. Like, she ain't crack a smile for a while, okay? That's the leader of the Hawks Raiders for you. Captain Guts, that's our boss, right? I'm sorry about that, guys. I went and charged out there by myself. <laughs> Come on, what's that for? We get to brag about our commander to all the other units. Damn straight. I'm the drink cup. Let's toast it. Captain Guts, Captain Guts, Captain Guts. <laughs> All right, so we got old girl over here. Casca, oh my God. Finally, they say her name, man. I could never remember her name. Her name is Casca. Big Sis Casca. Hmm. Unit Commander Casca. So she's a unit commander now. Ooh, they must have grown, though. They must have grown in numbers for them to be able to have unit commanders and captains they're like an army a mercenary army by themselves like they had probably like there wasn't a lot of them i mean there was a lot but it wasn't like a lot lot to be like an army army so it must be a lot a lot more of them now i'm guessing it should be because it's a time skip so she's like we need to talk could you come with me for a bit captain guts sir you guys get started. I'll be there later. Yes, sir. So they're like, what's that about? Got me. Think they're going to fight again? It's like, those two are famous for being at each other's throats ever since Captain Guts joined the band of the Hawk three years ago. It's very true. Like, she don't crack no smiles with him, man. Casca, I, I don't know. I just said that. I think she's jealous. Even though she's moving up in rank, though. Or maybe it's because she got her ass whooped by Gus. <laughs> um, it's probably about how he rode off on his own earlier. What are you trying to do? About what? Don't play dumb with me. Your job was to lead your unit alongside mine to provide flank support and containment for the main body's charge into the enemy. So Guts is like, huh? <laughs> But you, you, you broke away from your men and then charged the enemy head on alone. Were you trying to be a hero or something? You might have gotten lucky. You might have gotten lucky and done well. But your selfish behavior could have exposed the entire band of the hawk to danger. And did she just slap him in the face?
You should try remembering your place. Damn, Guts with the backhand. Whoa. He's like, sorry about that. I'll be careful from now on. You always, you always say that. They're just words. And then you do the same thing all over again. Practically nothing about you has changed in the past three years. Ever since that time you went off on Griffith. You're satisfied as long as you just get to cross swords with the enemy. You don't think about your comrades one bit. You're just a mad dog. Whoa. Guts grabs her hand and says, Say it again. Say that one more time. And Griffith comes comes out <laughs> she was shook <laughs> she was shook griffith comes out and he's like that's enough you two and put some bass in his voice this time <laughs> griffith i'll have a talk with guts okay You're too soft on him, Griffith. Mm. Quarkus. Like, you must really stink, Casca. Okay. So these so Casca gets outside and the you know dude, salty dude. From back in the day, still salty. He's still, I'm. St Why is he still alive? That's <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> so he was like, "That must really stink, Casca." Well, his name is Corcus. He's Griffith's favorite, after all. Let's face it, arguing with him just makes you look bad. What do you say, if there, if you ever want to off him? He's like, what do you say? I'm there if you ever want to off him. Are you serious? He still wants to kill Guts. My God, this dude. Did he just trip him? Hold on. I think, I think, hold on. I think she just tripped him. <laughs> she tripped him. He fell down the stairs, hit his head. He's such a clown. He's, she's like, sorry. <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> okay, so Griffith is talking to Guts now. You two really don't get along. Here, it's been three years already. I think about them. Who? So, Guts is saying, I think about them. I do think about my comrades. I'm not who I used to be. Griffith is like, I remember three years ago. The duel that decided you would join the band of the hawk instead of wandering battlefields. That fight was enjoyable. It was how fight should be. Come on, let's go. The wine's all about you this time. <laughs> Griffith, I'm sorry about today's battle. Mm, Griffith. Griffith is like, even that part of you is a part of my plan. Okay. All right. So we're in a church of sorts. So there's a gathering in the church. Oh, sh he's being knighted. Yo. Bro, cause remember that, remember that um, Guts was saying, remember Guts was saying, he's not even a knight, he's nothing. How is he going to get this kingdom he's talking about? Well, here you go. Now he's, now he's being knighted. He's a knight now. So everybody's talking, they're like, this is utterly unprecedented. A commoner attaining the title of knighthood and court ranking at that. What on earth is the king thinking? But this last battle, the band of the hawk certainly did display much merit. 
So what if this stupid bunch of rabble without war mercenaries would be nothing more than thieves? And his king is like, in the name of God and the spirit and bestow the status of knight upon thee. But, they're like, but in the face of this, we cannot afford to remain idle. Certainly we must not make light of their battlefield exploits. It's only a matter of time before he makes his move. So they're aware of his moves. Then he's like, be valiant with all due courtesy as well as faithfulness. This dude Corcus is talking, I'm thinking, that now that we keep distinguishing ourselves in battle, even the court officials have no choice but to recognize our power. It ain't just knight status. Griffith's a viscount now. This means we can say bye-bye to being wretched mercenaries and join the regular army. If you know that, then watch your tongue, Corcus. This is a formal ceremony. That's um, Casca talking to Corcus. From now on, any insubordination from us could possibly cause trouble for Griffith. We can't go on being a backwoods army of bumpkins the way we have been till now. Yeah, yeah, I understand, Commander Casca. Jeez, you're more strict than my old lady. She's like, what? Hey, ceremony. Blasted bumpkins. <laughs> Hang on, where is he? Again. Oh yeah, Guts is not there. He's out there. Looks like he's practicing swinging his sword. 198. 199. 200. Bro, did he add weight to it? it? Seems like he added weight to the sword. He's, wow. He's practicing. Kiss the sword. Then he waves to everyone. So Griffith got his knighthood. A wind of swords has ended. Okay, so that was pretty cool, man, to see um, Griffith um, get his knighthood and stuff like that. It's cool to see, but we know where he ends up. So there's, you know what I'm saying? So they're doing doing an excellent job of bringing us the step by step as to what caused the falling out between these two because they seem to be quote-unquote best friends at this point still so Casca is jealous um, I'm wondering what part is she going to play in the um, in the split or whatever the situation is or if Quarkus is going to be the bane you know what I'm saying so let's continue all right so let's jump into the next one here Keep 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 the magic going. We're done with Wind of Swords. We've been through what now? Three chapters. We still got five to go. I don't think I'm gonna get through all eight of these. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because there's a lot of details, a lot of dialogue, so it might take me longer um to do an entire volume right now. So Okay, so okay, we're getting another narration here. It was crimson, like a drop of blood. Okay, it was nothing. <laughs> so we're at Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Nosferatu Zod. Chapter 1. Okay. I bought this from an old gypsy fortune teller ages ago. To be heal it. Also called the Egg of the King. We've been through this already. You see it said that whoever possesses, possesses this is destined to obtain the world in exchange for his own flesh and blood. The world. I will get my own kingdom. That's what he said three years ago. Precisely what I was talking about. Okay, so. He's got the Behelid on. He's now a knight. Basically part of the army. What army? 
I really don't know because we know of the Iron Lands army. They didn't really say who the other people are that Griffith ended up joining. The king, king of where? You know what I'm saying? There's no context to that. So maybe it's not important. So let me not dwell on it. Okay, so we got we got about a hundred more pages to go. So I'm guessing these chapters are pretty short. So let's jump into it because we we might just end up um because we're at a hundred and something pages in the chapter right now already so let's see uh, let's see how it goes let's see how it goes we might end up doing the entire thing i don't know but we'll see anyways all right so you're looking down at a battlefield i'm guessing i'm guessing he's the commander he's probably the commander of the army right now who the hell knows so reporting we seem to have just about finished taking the enemy fortress and, he, and Griffith asks, and the enemy leader? No, not yet. Presently, Captain Gut's raiders are laying siege to the inner citadel. But, but what? The enemy has a remarkable soldier. He's holding back the breach. One man? Just one? That's just pathetic. Zod. Oh. So I'm guessing this guy is the Zod. Um, the Nef Zod. But he gets freaking like four chapters. So he must be a beast. He must be a beast. Because I think it's like four chapters that named after this dude. So it's like Zod. Judo. Judo. You don't mean... I caught wind of a strange rumor before this battle. The Nas, that Nasferatu Zod had been added to the enemy forces. Who is this Nasferatu Zod, bro? He must be a beast because there's like four chapters on him. Okay. Nasferatu Zod. Who's that? You don't know, Pippin? Among mercenaries. Nesferatu Zod is a legendary swordsman. They say he's killed hundreds, even thousands on the battlefield. But that's not all. The only reason why Zod is feared. That's not the only reason why Zod is feared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using a why I'm using a deep voice and this girl is talking. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just feels more ominous. <laughs> okay, so go with it. Every time a rumor goes around that he's dead, he always shows up again in some other battle. Oh, that's the image that we saw at the beginning of the, I think it was last chapter, or was it this chapter? No, it wasn't this chapter. It was the last chapter that we saw this image. Again, I was like, why do you look like a werewolf, sir? <laughs> he always shows up again in some other battle. And the unbelievable thing is, People have been telling war stories about him for close to a hundred years. What? He's immortal, so maybe, maybe he's one of those dudes. That's why Zod's called Nosferatu. Nosferatu! Hmm, so Griffith is like, okay, so... He's like, hey, 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 don't tell me you actually believe that fairy tale. Come on, little Rickert. But there are some mercenaries who revere Zod as a battlefield god. <gasps> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. That came out of nowhere. Okay, so... Something tells me if Guts ran into him, he'd go charging headlong like a madman. Of course, because he's Guts. This can't turn out good. <laughs> okay, so we got... Stupid bastards, let me go! Gaston? No way, Captain. You guys help me stop him. He's like, I can't let you do it. No way. Can I let you go in alone? A little longer. Let's just wait a little longer. They're, oh, they're trying to hold Gus, but Gus is trying to get... It's already been a whole hour, you ass. We sent almost 50 men in there and no one's come out. Now let go of me. 
then we should ask Boss Griffith for re- <laughs> Before he could get that word out of his mouth, Guts is like, you try it and I'll kill you. He's about to say Griffith for reinforcements. No, no. He's like, it's one man. A single enemy's got all 500 of the band of the Hawks Ragers stuck like nails in a wall. You ever heard of anything so humiliating? Ah, <laughs> somebody's screaming in there, it seems. Yo, did this dude just come out with half of him half of him missing? Bruh, bro. My dude. My dude. Whatever it, if that really is Zod in there doing doing this to the, Yo, this dude comes out and he's like saying, Captain, no, y'all can't stop Gus. Gus need to get in there. So Gus is like, Dillos, Dillos. That's the guy's name. And he's like, Zod. Nosferatu. And he's like, Zod? And so they're all trembling now and sweating. They're like, that rumor really was true. Hey, this is big trouble. God stands up. He's like, they're like, hold on, Captain. And he's like, keep back nobody come with me i'm killing him alone <laughs> i'm ready i want to see this i want to see this ah uh, the big man goes in god steps in like a boss he's like captain no the guys out here yo look at what zod has been doing to these guys man oh my god he's not playing around in there guys high balls popping out oh my god 50 men is like what's with these corpses men in full armor torn apart like rag dolls it feels like something incredible strong blew right through them yeah true then he sees somebody boots hanging from the ceiling Wait a minute, what is this? Oh my god, I just got goosebumps by this drawing. What? Those are heads. Those are just heads. It's just heads. Oh my god, that is... Oh brutal. shit, oh. here we go again. What is this? He's definitely a beast. He's a beast. He's a beast. Bro, he's just casually in here just ripping dude's heads off like it's nothing, bro. He's definitely a beast. And look at this. Bro. He just has these guys on his sword all casually. Two guys on his sword casually just holding it up like, yeah, this is what I did. You know? <laughs> you know? This is what I did. I just did that. Yeah, that's me. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we, we finally get to see Mr. Zod over here. Nosferatu. Okay. So Guts charged, gets mad, charges at him, of course. It looks like he throws the two guys at Guts. Guts has to block the bodies. He has to block the bodies. This dude got smoke coming out of his mouth. He's like, so he's like, what, what the hell is this? Okay, and that's the end of chapter one for Nesperatu. Okay, so we got chapter two now of Nesperatu Zod. Okay, so he, he's heading to, yo, he's huge. He didn't even look that huge the first time we saw him, but he's huge, man. He's towering over guts. Guts has his sword in his hand. He's going to war. He's like, what the hell is this? I don't know what it is either, bro. So he's like, you parried that strike well, boy. 
<laughs> this is the best voice I could come up with right now. You powered that strike well, boy. <laughs> what is he, Kratos out here, boy? <laughs> so Guts is like trembling, bro. He looks scared. He's like, what's this? This overpowering sense that's got me tied up. He's freezing up right now. Wow. He got Guts shook. So he goes in for the strike at Guts. And Guts goes to block it. Oh. Guts goes to block it. Seems like he got it. He's being pushed back. He's being pushed back. And it, it swings, it barely misses his head, and it, it hit. He takes out the pillar, strikes right through the pillar. He's like, "What? Whoa! Cheeks, <laughs> booty cheeks! This guy, boom! Zod goes in for another strike, and..." Guts blocks it. Holy shit. He has to use both hands to even like kind of like carry like to to but he's off. Look at this. The thing swept him off of his foot, bro. This dude is overpowering Guts like crazy. He's definitely not human because he doesn't look human. So Guts blocks it, but man, he got hit up against the wall or a pillar over there. Um, but he's definitely he's definitely feeling the impact of those blows. So he's like, Ugh. so he's like superb. <laughs> Guts is like, he's a monster. Damn right he is. He's like. Not one man in 50 years has been able to stop my sword this long. <laughs> Guts is like, it's taking all I've got to do it. Damn, I can't even swing in. And Guts is like, he's the strongest. And he smiles. He's like, he's stronger than anyone I've ever crossed swords with. I was speechless at how good Griffith was, but this guy, his power is beyond human. <laughs> Guts is sweating. What do I do? I can't stay toe to toe with him. I only parried him thanks to this broadsword. I, a normal sword would have been busted with one hit. All right, they look like this. This dude got a machete, okay? Big ass machete. That's what Zod has. It's like so the swords alone are evenly matched. So Guts grabs it with two hands. Looks like he's steady. Looks like he's about to swing. Let's see if he does. Oh. So. Being unable to keep blocking my sword, you're going to gamble everything on one strike. <laughs> so Zod is kind of sizing guts up. It's cool. I'll bet you're counting on blade length to make a difference. So he got some battle experience. He's like, yeah, I bet you're counting on blade length to make a difference. But will it? Your brains will be on the floor before your sword can touch me. And Guts is thinking one chance. It's like so. <laughs> Zod says, "Interesting. I accept." So Guts is like, "Just one chance." So. Both of them goes in for the swing. Beautiful art, by the way. And... 
Guts blocks Zod's sword. And he's... Wait a minute. It looks like Guts is cutting through his sword. Did he get him? Ooh, it looked like he got him. Did he get him? So he's like, boy. He's like, so Guts backs up, but he, he got him. He cut him. He cut him. He definitely cut him. Yeah, nice slice. Right through his arm. Right through both his arms. But now his it looks like he can't. It looks like he can't get his sword through him though. He definitely got cut into him. Cut through Zod's sword. And now I cut both his arms. He's like, got him. Can't celebrate yet. Zod grabs. Grabs his sword, bro. Zod grabs his sword. Um, he's like, what a surprise. After being pushed back that far, I never thought you'd try to break my sword. You were the first, the first human ever to drive a sword this deep into my body. So he's definitely not human, as I said before. In these past 300 years of holy shit, this thing is transformed. <laughs> So this must be the first introduction that he got to the other world because this dude has been alive for 300 years, 300 years, and he has an even ridiculous, bro, look at this thing, man, that's crazy. He's transforming, and that's the end of chapter two of Nasferatu, okay, so... Okay, so we got chapter 3 of Nesferatu. We got the transformation looking literally like a beast. Like a freaking, what do you call these animals again? O oxes? I think he looks like an ox. If I should animal. He looks a lot like with the horns. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro let me let me stop for I'm, I'm stopping for a second for this reason and this reason only bro the guy that drew this manga is a he's freaking nuts his art is nuts bro look at the shading on this how beautiful it is man the shading on this is so beautiful it's i have to say i've never seen this kind of level of art in a manga I'm t I'm serious like I know and I've read a good amount of manga you know what I'm saying like I've read a good amount of manga this following manga like this guy makes freaking Oda look like trash bro like he doesn't even know what he's doing Masashi Kishimoto he makes them dudes look like they look like they yeah <laughs> like they don't know what they're doing when it comes on to drawing manga like look at the shading on this thing man like you feel like you're looking at somebody with hair for real and here here is not it's not an easy thing to 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 draw to portray in drawing in in black and white for that matter hair is one of the hardest thing to portray in art Y'all think that shit is easy? And this guy is pulling it off like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Bro, look at this, man. That's crazy. Okay, so he grabs Guts' sword. Right? He grabs the sword. Guts is standing there. And his knees are buckling. He's sweating. His eyes are open. So, he, look at Guts' face right now. <laughs> Bruh. Never seen Guts this scared. Never. Not even when Guts was being raped, he looked like this. Like he's like hit it was enormous. It was terror itself. He's like, this is great. 
So long ago, I had forgotten the feeling of blood boiling. To make this feeling my own again, on the chance I might come across an enemy like you. Maybe that's why I've remained alive these 300 years. Now fight, don't disappoint me. So he comes after Guts. He tries to grab Guts with his left arm. He's still holding his sword. Oh my god, how is Guts gonna get out of this? How does he survive this? Cause he doesn't have the, the brand. He doesn't have the brand, so he, he... Let's let let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cause I wanna see this. So he knocks Guts all the way back to the pillar. Oh my god. Yo. And he roars. He roars, bro. Oh my god, I would run for my life if I saw something like that. I'm not saying there. He's like, this can't be. It can't be real. Monsters like this can't exist. <sighs> Holy crap. So he, he, he dives in again and Guts tries to get out of the way. Guts tries to get out the way. It looked like he hit his arm or something. Hit his arm. So he goes in to punch Guts. How's he gonna survive a punch from this thing? Oh, he got. To, he still got his sword. So he went. He goes for another chop. Looks like he chops him in the head. It looks like he chops he chops him in the head, but he didn't even do anything. He was probably like just knock him in the head. He can't cut him. So he groans and he knocks Guts aside again. Damn, and he hit his head this time. He hit his head this time and he's and he's like, what's wrong? The guy's knocked out. So he picks Guts up. He's like, was that it? Is this all the power you've got? No. Guess I should say you did well for a human, but I won't show mercy. If you can't fight, I'll tear you apart. And he's like squeezing guts, it seems like. And guts. Oh my god, he looks like he's screaming at the top of his lungs. Okay, so some guys came in, shot at him. Oh, Griffith is here. And they're like, hmm. So he turns around and says, like, okay, so everybody sees this thing. And Griffith is here. What is Griffith going to do? So he's, he's like, so Guts is calling out to Griffith. Griffith. Um, everybody's like, what the hell is that? Is this some kind of nightmare or something? He's like, hey, is that Nesferatu Zod? Huh? What is that? And Griffith is like, don't lose focus. Second volley, fire. So they're firing arrows at him. And Zod has to block block the arrows, of course. He's taking damage. It looks like he's taking damage. They're piercing him. So they're like, did we kill it? So they're like, this mustn't be. That's what Zod is saying. I won't have this. No one may defile this battle. I won't have it. He's like, forget it. Fall back. Run. Damn. And now. Damn. He's literally going ape shit. Zod. He's, def he's literally going ape shit right now on everybody. Look at this hands, hand, heads and hands are flying by Griffith and um, Casca and Pippin. Damn, bro. Yo, look at this, man. He's demolishing them, biting them in half. Oh, my God. He's stepping on them. He has hooves. Didn't even realize that. He got, he got hooves. He's stepping on them. He's tearing them apart. They're like, it's no use. No human can fight this thing. What a monster. Griffith 
Casca. Of everyone withdraw. Griffith, where are Okay, so Griffith stays and basically <coughs> basically tells them to withdraw. Gaska is there looking at him. He's like, hey. So Griffith goes over to, to Guts, picks him up, like, hey, can you stand? Dumb bastard, why are you here? And Griffith is like, you can complain after we've escaped from that monster. He's like, why? Why has it got to be like this? God damn it. Are they going to escape though? That's the thing. So Zod is looking at both of them. He's like, where are you going? Your heart's still beating. And that's the end of chapter three of the Zod arc. Now we got Nesradu Zod um, chapter four. So he just went all out in that last chapter with the with the art and now we're back to regular stuff. Okay. <laughs> so he's like, fight! Fight me until you're torn to pieces. End of the road, huh? They're like, crap. Griffith! Casca stayed? What happened? So it looks like he knocked his head or something? No, something happened. They chopped something. Said, so we're dead if I don't. Let's go. Did they both go after him? It looks like... Why does it look like Griffith chopped his arm off? I think Griffith chopped his arm off. So they both split on two different sides and it looks like they went after him at the same time. Look like look like Griffith took his arm off right here. Crazy. Yep, he did. He did take his arm. Took his arm off. And what did Guts do? Looked like Guts got his throat. It seems. I think. Oh yeah. Awesome. Come on, run for it. The fact that Griffith took his arm off with one swing says a lot about him, to be honest. So he's like, Griffith, look out behind you. Oh, shit. Did he get him? It looked like he got him with his tail or something. They look out behind you and it looked like he got him with his tail. Gut screams out, Griffith! Bro, he got... Bang! Casca is like... Yo, he got hit hard, man. Looks like he got hit with the tail. Boom. And he's like... <sighs> he's standing with one arm. Standing over Guts. Guts gonna have to finish him. He's like, what a day today's been. That I'd meet a human... Two humans who could wound me so. <laughs> what did he do? Did he just pick up his arm and threw it at guts? guts? <laughs> I think that's what he did. Yeah, he picked up his arm. Now he's using his arm as a, as a, as a something. <laughs> so he uses his arm and knocks guts over. And that both of them would be lost at once so he's standing he jumps over to Griffith stands over Griffith and like I'll start with this man so he's standing over Griffith but hold on a second did he attach his arm back what yes he did what in the world I didn't 
didn't even notice that. He just put his arm back on like it was nothing. Oh, let me just put this back on like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't just get it chopped off, but okay. These these demons are ridiculous, bro. Like, they're crazy. Okay. I'll start with this, man. So, he goes over to Griffith, and they're like, it's no use, Casca. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no, that's not what they said. They said, it's no use, Casca. Okay. So, so he goes over to Griffith and tries. So, he notices something. So, he's like, what? I bet you it's the behelet. He sees the behelet. So, he's like, what? What's this? The egg of the king? egg of the king he's like it can't be the egg of the king a cub like him with the crimson behelet the god hand oh shit so he knows about the god hand huh huh so he's like hesitating why so ah it's that kind of ploy So he's like, he punches the ceiling. So, and he punches the ceiling. I think he's going to bounce. So he's like, our battle is on hold for now, boy. But I wonder if I'll ever meet up with you again. Here's a word of warning. No, a prophecy. If you can be said to be a true friend of this man, then take heed. When his ambition collapses. It's a warning for him. That is like death will pay you a visit. A death you can never escape. Whoa, he just grew wings. Bro, who is this dude? Who is this dude? Nesferatu Zod, who are you? Because you're not a part of the God Hand. At least not from what we we know of from from the first from when we met the God Hand. I didn't see anybody that looked like you, so I don't. So I don't think he's a part of the God Hand. So he flies out. He's like ah. Oh. He's like, what's that? A demon. A demon. He flies away. He's like, death? You mean I'm going to die? So they're all running back to Griffith. Griffith, hang on, hang on, blah, blah, blah. Yay. So they're like, you okay, Captain? Yeah, I guess so. He's like, you're lucky to be alive. They're, you all are lucky to be alive. Okay, so Casca is holding Griffith. And Guts comes over to check on him. And he... And she slaps his hand away and like, don't you, don't you touch Griffith. She, I'm sort of way, like, dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I hate people when they're like this, because I understand where she's coming from. She's crying. Because, because the thing about it is that, um, I understand what she means, what, why she's like this. Because he's always putting himself into these situations and then Griffith has to come rescue him. And... Now he's almost dead because of it. So I do understand where she's coming from. But we're men, man. Stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, so she's blaming. She's blaming him, of course. Like, it's your fault. This never would have happened to Griffin if it weren't if it weren't for you. And that's the end of the chapter. Wow, we're actually doing pretty good. We might just get through this entire thing. I think there's two chapters of Master of the Sword. I don't remember exactly. Um, we did, we did. I think this is the last one, Master of the Sword, Chapter One. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is the last one, guys. So we did make it. Okay, so let's go. All right, so we, so we got a sideways page here that I'm going to try to read. That death will pay you a visit. A debt you can never escape. Okay, I remember that. Great drawing, man. Great drawing. A debt you can never escape. Okay, so Windham Castle, royal capital of Midland. Okay, so we're in a different location now for this. A new story, I'm guessing. 
So they're all right. So they're talking now. So did you hear about the band of the hawk? So they're like, yes. You mean about Griffith's grave injuries in their recent battle? The soldiers were saying that some giant fell beast appeared in a Tudor stronghold. Just a falsehood. It's to conceal their own blunder. A simple but effective child's trick. But it seems it was not just one or two who who witnessed it. Besides, they were eventually successful in subduing the stronghold. Even if he was wounded, you cannot call that a blunder. That's true. This will be another step in the successive rise of his merit. Uh, it's so vexing. Oh, so they really don't like him. So their guts probably heard them talking here. He rolls up. He's still injured. Um, he's on a crutch. So it's like that is the captain of the Hawks Raiders. Clear the way, you churl. <laughs> really? That last battle was quite the calamity. A beast appearing on the battlefield, eh? Huh. Did you receive those wounds at the hands of said beast? <laughs> So they're mocking him because they don't believe him. Okay, perhaps in the darkness you mistook some mutt for a monster. And Guts puts... <laughs> Guts just puts his crutch on his feet, on his foot. Crushed. Yeah, man. Keep talking shit. Knock your ass out with this crutch. <laughs> He's like, how dare you? He's like, sorry. The pains made me dizzy like you bastard face my sword and he looks at him like you really want this work my dude do you really want this work i will beat you like a cherokee drum <laughs> <laughs> do you want this okay all right he's like he's like fell on his knees he's like scared just look it he just looked at that dude and he he was scared so he's walking over to his dudes. We got Casca, we got Pippin, we got that other gir um, girl. I don't know, remember her name. So they're greeted by him. I mean, Casca is she, 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 she is she, she's really good looking. Okay, I like her, but I just don't like her attitude. Like I, I, I can't. We can do without the attitude, man. Cause, you know. So he said, uh, what are you all doing here? Should you be walking yet? She's still mad. It's like he's remembering that she said it's your fault. It's like, so they're so it's like, don't worry about it. So they're like, everyone knows that wasn't your fault. Casca got us got as worked up as the rest of us and she blurted that out don't sweat it i think she meant that shit i'm sorry so so what's everyone doing so what's everyone doing we're all here to pay griffith a visit but there's a line really there's a line to see him so the king and everybody's here to visit him uh aristocrats whatever so it did so guts is asking who are they oh officials bishops dignitaries from the royal court the world's as kind as it is cruel you know there are statesmen who see griffith as just an annoying upstart commoner but there are also some like them who think if they stake a claim on him now it'll pay off down the road of course the politicians <laughs> you know well guess it's only natural these days griffith's all wins and no losses in fact he's head of the mightiest armed force in midland oh so we finally know who they're fighting for and stuff i don't think they made that clear in the last chapter as i was saying because i thought they were like probably somewhere else now that is a new chapter new arc but um but this is this the um so now we know the place that they're at is midland so okay so Hmm. All right. All right, huh? Weren't you listening just now? Do you think that's going to stop Guts from doing what he wants to do? He's like, I was listening. So what? He's like, so what? What do you mean, so what? I'm saying you need to wait here until the dignitaries have finished their audience. He's like, what difference does it make? 
it's just dropping in on a wounded man. Who gives a damn about social status? They're like, guts. I'm going. Out of, out of the way. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Please wait until the dignitaries are finished. And they put the things at his neck. Really now? Do you want this work? Yo. Guts. What did he do? He just slapped one of them over with... What is that? Is that his crutch? What did he do? He's like knocked. He's like guts. He's like right. Give me a break. Yo, he knocked both of them out with their own weapon. These guys are scrubs. Okay, we know that. Okay, so a, sorry. Oh boy, that dumbass. He says he's like want to come, Rickard. Rickard not going. <laughs> Like yo, Griff, <laughs> yo, that's what happens when when um when you wanna go see your homeboy and people is and, and people is like oh when you go I remember like back in the day like when you go to a friend's house and their their mom <laughs> their mom is like um he can't come out and play right now or whatever he can't go nowhere right now or you know but he's up in his room are you outside like yo Griff. <laughs> what's good man <laughs> so he's like you want more give it a oh damn Casca got up there look like she's gonna punch him in the face yep and she does they're like why is this happening so they're like uh. <laughs> he's like ah the hell you crazy bitch! <laughs> Casca's looking at him like, why? Why do you always have to be this way? He's like, why does Griffith bother with a guy like you so much? He's like, what's that about? Oh, oh I'm the one who should be crying. That ain't no woman's punch. <laughs> uh, so he, he turns around and go is like hey it's like hey guts forget it i'll just come back walks away and she really does feel some sort of way about the situation as like still i kind of know how guts feels lately griffith has been kind of hard to approach i guess it's like he's drifted away from us some it's true because status man status you know what I'm saying? And he's not even like him knowing that that's his crew, that's his gang, and they ride with him for life. He should be allowing them to come see him before some freaking politicians and stuff. But he wants stature. He wants kingdom. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's his goal. So, he could care less sometimes, you know. So, I can understand why they feel a little distant from him. So Guts is out here practicing his sword swings. Like, you're satisfied as long as you just get to cross swords with the enemy. You don't think about your comrades one bit, you're just a mad dog. So he's remembering all of this stuff while he's practicing. And he's like, remember when she was crying and she says, it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Is this going to make him leave? I don't know. So he's like, damn it, what's that bitch's problem? Like, don't get angry. So Griffith comes to see Guts. Okay, the school. Griffith. You can swing a sword already? Even though you were wounded so much worse than I, you really are tough. Well, that's not a question. Like, sorry about yesterday. I heard you came to see me with everyone else. Those officials all think they can gain favor by appearing to care for a wounded man day after day. It's enough to make me sick. But, oh well, it can be helped. It's absolutely necessary in order to gain status in this kingdom. Which is what I'm saying. It's status. That's what he wants. So he has to appease. Alright, so Nesferatu. Zod. Who would have thought that a monster 
that fantastic exists. So he thinks they're fantastic. Here comes the fascination. Oh, God. Here comes the fascination with these things, man. It's like, it felt like I was having a nightmare. Of course. Right? But if you look at it a different way, it might be proof that there's some huge something beyond human understanding in this world. For instance, what are called gods? Or something. Is that, don't you mean devils? Who knows? Aren't they the same thing? By the way, how'd I make it out of that? How'd I make it out of that? I mean, I passed out part way through. The guts is asking him now. That thing you wear around your neck. For some reason, he flew off when he saw that. The Behila? Yeah. Said Zod knew what that thing was. There's no warning again. If you can be said to be a true friend of this man, then take heed when his ambition ca collapses. Death will pay you a visit, a death you can never escape. Ah, shit. I think this warning or this, this prophecy that Zod is is basically the falling out that's going to happen, you know. You know, a true friend of that man basically is telling him to be careful when his ambitions uh, collapses. So the ambition that he's probably referring to is basically when Griffith, you know, gains all his status and then it falls through, everything falls through. Or whatever, or probably because you know that there's people in the kingdom that don't want to see him rise. So there's probably going to be something that happens. I'm just spewing stuff out, just making a bit of a prediction here based on this prophecy, right? So it's basically maybe he's gonna get to a status, they're gonna tear him down, and that's gonna make him go crazy because maybe he's very close to the goal, gaining the kingdom, and he fails, or they plot against him and try to kill him or something. Um, so, and then that death will pay you a visit, a debt you can never escape. Probably Griffith dies, I don't know, or maybe, I think that's what he means. I don't think he means this by, I don't think he means that will pay you a visit by, um, by Griffith's, um, by Guts dying. I think this has to do with Griffith dying or coming close to death as we've seen in, in the previous earlier chapters um, with the, with the count, with the count, right? Close to death, cry out for help, and the Behila is going to transfer him to the world, and maybe that's how he becomes a part of the God Hand. I don't know. Just be with my guts here. Anyways, let's continue. So, continuing the conversation. It looks like this thing even protects against evil spirits. I'll have to go thank the old gypsy woman. That's... So, God says, that's another one I owe you. He's like, why is it? Three years ago, you said, I can't lose such an excellent soldier. But to put your life on the line for just one soldier, that's a hot-headed thing for a calm, composed guy like you to do. So, why? Why? A discussion from three years ago, you sure can be picky. He's like, there's no reason at all. Do I need one? Tell me. Do I need one? A reason? Tell me. Do I need a reason each time I put myself in harm's way? For your sake? That's Beasley. Okay, so that's the end. Oh my god. So much to dive into. And I'm going to go do the review. Make sure, guys who are watching this on the Google Drive, make sure you go over to the um, YouTube channel. Make sure you go over there and check out the review, of course, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on, these, on this volume. Um, volume 5 of Berserk. Man, we got through it. We did it. We did 
I thought the chapters were going to be longer. We usually do around 200 and something pages every time I do read-throughs anyway. So, but I thought they were going to be like really long chapters. And plus there was a lot of dialogue going on too. There wasn't much action. There was a lot of dialogue building up the story, telling the story of, you know, Guts and Griffith. So, make sure you go to YouTube and check out a review. I'm going to go ahead and go do that now. Thank you guys for coming over and watching. See you guys for the review. All right, so welcome back, guys. Welcome to the review of Volume 5. Um, we went through a lot there. We completed the the um, the arc. Right? We completed the... Um, let me see. Let me see the chapters here again. We got... We finished up the Golden Age arc. Then we got the Wind of Swords. And then we got... The, um, the Nosferatu Zod mini arc for four chapters and then we had that small conversation there of the aftermath of what happened there okay so let's talk about it I have to say off bat um, the story is getting better and better it's swelling it's swelling and I, and I like the fact that it's taking his time to kind of um He's taking his time to kind of sort out, you know what I'm saying, the the, the story, and to tell it in a in a ver in a good way, whereas in you can follow it right through, you know what I'm saying. I like the fact that we um, we got the the you know the ending of that battle there in the Golden Age. Saw what was the result of that. Okay. I, I didn't particularly like that naked scene. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. It, it, you know, let's be real about it. You know I mean? And be like, okay, it's a real story. Those things can possibly happen. I think he should have put some clothes on, you know, before we start splashing water on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Like, no. So, but anyways, man, the relationship between Guts and Griffith, you can understand, I can understand now, whatever caused the fallout, even, even though we have not seen the fallout yet, whatever caused it, whatever caused them to split and go separate ways or betrayal or whatever the situation is, the story, you can see why he screamed like that. And also, maybe that is the reason why he was crying at the end. There where I was like, why is he crying? maybe that is the reason it's because he knew the guy they were friends and i can see the build-up right and i'm glad that they you know what i'm saying showing how the the, the behelith is just all over the place right it's all over the place in a good way it's all over the place it is 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 like it's the connection between the demon world and the human world so it's kind of like um, it's like a, a portal of sorts, I want to say it's, you know, because remember they were transferred there at one point. So when it comes on to their relation, their relationship, as I was saying, it's very obvious that something drastic happened because these two has become very close friends. As you see how that, um, chapter one of master of the sword just ended as we ended volume five. You see that their relationship, it goes, it's going to develop into something even better than what it is now. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm looking forward to it. Master of the Sword, I'm looking forward to to, um, to doing that. Um, Casca is, I think, is it really jealousy? Does she, you know, have feelings for Griffith? I really, I, I think so. But she can't really tell Griffith that because maybe Griffith is into dudes I don't know I don't know if he's into dudes he, he didn't explicitly say that um, because you know this whole I want you thing that, it's just weird to me it throws me off a bit when a man is saying that to another guy like it just throws me off but in any way it's cool it's, it's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all good if that's the way he wants to do things. We know Guts is not into that. 
Okay, so Casca, if if Griffin is into girls, I don't know if that would be a good pairing <laughs> in the series. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to go there, but obviously Casca has feelings for him. Nesferatu, she's whiz. So I'm guessing this is the first time they've ever encountered a demon, and Nesferatu Zod ain't no joke, bro. If he can just reattach his limbs, he's basically... I'm wondering if he's the leader of the freaking God Hand. Why did he get so... Why did he get... Why did he leave him alone? Because he got to be it. Like, that's a mystery also. You know what I'm saying? Is that like a sign of protection? Is that it? I don't know. Like, I'm speculating here. Is, is that maybe some sign of protection... You know, like when demons see like a human with that, you know, maybe they feel like they have some sort of connection with their world or something. But obviously this guy is a beast. He didn't flinch one time. He Every time they did something to him, he's like, oh, this is what humans can do. I never knew that I would ever meet humans who could do such damage. Well, anyways, let me reattach my arm. Why the fuck out of here? <laughs> it's, just, it's just so nuts what he does. You know what I'm saying? So that was really cool to see, man. It was really cool to see um, um, him as a character. I really like his character too. So Nesferatu Zod. Can't wait for his return in the series, of course, if he does. Um, definitely a cool character. I like how he talks. I like how he, you know. He, he demands attention when he's when he's in you know in the chapters or in the story or whatever you want to hear what he has to say because now he's made himself an important character um for the series going forward because we always going to be looking for it always Nesferatu Zod going to show up um because he left him with that warning um he left um why didn't he just kill why did he give him a warning instead of killing guts you know so it is that of course the army has grown so that's that's good also as i said man status is is what um griffith wants because he wants a kingdom the way how he was talking in that chapter where he, where he's like you are going to do exactly what i want you to do you know what i'm saying and that in and itself is just it just goes to show you that this guy has a serious agenda he wants a kingdom and i think that's what's gonna be what's gonna happen i think he's gonna get really close to getting it and he's gonna be betrayed or he's gonna be let down and they're gonna and the aristocrats or the politicians or what or whatever you want to call them um they're gonna be like do you really think we would let a commoner rule us you know what i'm saying or something of the sort is this i'm just spitballing here um based on what i see going i'm just trying to dissect that prophecy but um nothing too crazy for this volume five just a lot of explanation um there's a lot there's a lot of explanation and it was good to see a demon again so that was pretty it was a pretty cool fight but basically I mean it's his first time you know what i'm saying like i didn't expect him to do what he was doing back in the older chapters i really did not expect him to be doing that so all in all you know what i'm saying it's his first encounter so i didn't expect him to be like the guts of the future you know what i'm saying like i didn't expect him to be like that so um griffith came in to help him griffith chopped an arm off that goes to say a lot about griffith because Guts wasn't able to do that. He wasn't able to slice through him. He was not able to slice through him. But Griffith came in, took an arm off with one swing. That's, he's a beast. He's a beast. And I can understand, oh, uh, is, this series is only going to get crazier. So be ready for it, man. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for, for staying with for staying with this. If you watch it for however long it is, because it's probably going to be like two hours long um thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching these videos man you guys are awesome um and i really do have to 
show my appreciation to you guys because you know i could easily just enjoy this on my home my own but you guys just keep saying bro where is the berserk read throughs man what's going on and as i said man i was sick i was supposed to do it last week and i didn't get a chance to do it because the toothache so hope you guys forgive me for that man because i did promise i did promise um some um you know by answering somebody that asked and i told him that it would be out by last weekend but it's not come out this weekend so thank you guys so much man i really um love the fact that you guys are enjoying it and i thank you guys so so much can't thank you guys enough see i'm overly grateful for to be able to do this and to have people actually watching the stuff because if nobody watched it then i wouldn't have no need to do it and i would just enjoy this stuff on my own so as i said man just remember man it's your boy terror by the x and we are out here remember to subscribe if you're new leave a like of course and also leave a comment in the comment section whatever you thought how did you feel the first time you saw nasferatu zod nasferatu zod okay first time you saw him what was your thoughts in the manga i think the art in this series is absolutely beautiful the way how he did i think it was chapter two of nesferatu zad when he transformed like that was amazing that was amazing as i said man here is one of the most hardest things to draw in art it's not easy it's not an easy thing to depict hair fur whatever you want to call it so um so yeah man thank you guys for watching as always watch everybody react and i will see you guys for the next read through peace